Yo, what is up you guys? Welcome back to the channel, man. I hope you guys are having an awesome night or morning. It's currently nighttime where I'm at as usual. But today I wanted to go over an effect that I recently just learned. So if you guys know about prism lens effects or tropic color or a Tiffin Pro Mist, I'm going to show you guys how to actually do that look or give off that look in Premiere Pro. It's super dope and I'm so stoked that I learned this. So, so let's head over to the computer and get started. All right, so now that we're in Premiere, what you're going to want to do first is bring in some footage that you already have. I have some footage from... Uh, some practice shots that me and my boy Cyrus got for our upcoming short film called Omen. So the first thing you want to do to your bottom clip, we're going to duplicate this clip twice. So we're going to go one, two, and then go to your effects tab for your second clip. Make sure your second clip is selected. Go to your effects tab, type in track matte key. Drop that on your second clip, and then in your track matte key effect, I mean, go to your effect controls, go down to your track matte key uh, settings, and then where it says matte alpha, change that to matte luma, okay. and then matte, change that to video three. And then um, select your top clip, and then we're gonna type in, in our effects tab, brightness and contrast, and bring that on our top clip. We're gonna shut this second clip off just for this process right here. So what you do here is you bring your brightness down to negative 100 and then your contrast up to 100. Now you see that we have this blue and it's mainly getting our highlights so, but we don't want those blues in there so we're gonna go to tint, type in tint in your effects tab, drag that onto your top clip. Now it's black and white, those blues are gone. And I usually drag, in, drag on a Gaussian blur too on the top clip and then I bring the blurriness up to like 17 and then hit repeat edge pixels. And then I turn my second clip back on and I throw a Gaussian blur on my second clip as well. And then I just start blurring those highlights out. You see what it's doing there? It's just giving it like that glowy, dreamy look. Yeah, man, it's super dope, super dope effect, man. I'm super stoked that I learned this effect. But yeah, guys, that's it. It's a super simple, super simple video and super simple effect, man. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, man. And drop me a comment down in the comment section and let me know if you guys want more tutorials from me, man. And also, I just released my Just a Kid with a Camera hoodie. So if you guys want to pick up a hoodie, I'll leave a link down in the description for you to go pick up a hoodie. I'm only running pre-orders right now, so make sure you guys get your pre-order in for these hoodies. Make sure to click the notification bell to get notifications of when I upload to this channel. And I'm out of here guys. Peace.